start of the fourth day out here. Another beautiful morning in Minnesota. The view of the lake behind me. Lake Superior, the namesake of the Superior Hiking Trail. I had to cut a little short yesterday, had that detour around this washed out bridge. Kind of put us a few miles short, so might be a long one today. We couldn't ask for better weather right now, that's for sure. It's really nice here that it's like, you know, you get these little outcroppings, some really beautiful views. You can kind of see like into some like small areas, just like, you know, water drainages. Kind of get a view of the fall colors coming in. Really enjoying it out here. But aside from today and tomorrow, the last two nights on trail, kind of bumps me out. Just feel like I'm starting to get warmed up, but kind of anticipated that was what was going to happen. Can't stay out here forever. Not right now, anyway. Starting to come up on Beaver Creek. It's always really amazing. You come around a corner, you can start to hear the water before you see it. Across that Beaver Bridge, got spit out onto this road walk. Usually the data book is pretty specific, like walk this road for the next quarter mile. I was real confused. Just held the data book up into the sun. Hopefully it was going to charge or update or something. Nothing really happened. But there were a couple of like other people walking on the road. They didn't give me any information because I didn't ask. They did give me some reassurance that hopefully I'm on the right path. Look, a duck pond. How lovely. It's a couple more hours of daylight here on day four. Had to make a slight logistical adjustment to how far we were hiking today. You know, this trail is pretty tough. You know, it's really unassuming. Um, you kind of see behind me. You know, it's just really rocky, really rooty, very muddy. Very rarely is it just kind of like a nice cruiser flat section. So the going's been really slow. You know, that's all right. Just have to make some adjustments. You know, a lot of time this hiking is just about making adjustments. You know, sometimes I gotta adjust my pack, adjust my shoes, adjust what I'm eating. Might run out of food, but if I bonk out on the last day, it'll be all right. I know there's probably some fast food to go crush, you know, not too far. You know, sometimes gotta body glide the parts of the body that need a little bit of love. Slowing down, speeding up. Sometimes you gotta eat a little more than you were planning, sometimes a little less. Sometimes taking water. I don't know if that's what it's really tough about everything. It's just like can't be really rigid, can't be really fixed. You gotta stay really fluid. And kind of the approach to things. Otherwise, it's just like, yeah, you approach things with too much rigidity. Probably end up getting frustrated, maybe demoralized. Thinking you gotta stick to some real strict schedule or something like that. I'm not out here trying to set any records. Just trying to have a good time. But it really has been great. You know, I haven't seen a lot of people today outside of Bean and Bear Lake. Just enjoying the rest of the day.